Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today we're back in the pre-patch because a viewer asked me to do a... He asked me, can you make a macro for Paladin Retri? And I'm not a DPS person, but I'm gonna do my best. And it's just as I answer, I'm not a DPS person, but I can, I can for sure try to do that. It all come down, comes down to proc. If, the, uh, if it's a class that procs, like the ability resets, my macros won't really work. Bork, bork. But that's actually not entirely true. Uh, I, I have made two macros for this, but we're gonna play alongside using weak aura. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a setup, which gonna make it way easier to keep track of everything on the procs and everything pretty much. So. First of all, you need to install weak auras. You need to install weak auras. Uh, I use Cursedforged, obviously. If you don't, it's gonna save a lot of time instead of like having to download, unpack um, it, and everything. It will be just updated in your actual map. So yeah, you uh, download that, and then we go into the game and do a slash wa. And we have the weak auras open. Then we go into this we uh, this page over here. I'm gonna link a, a put a link in the description below to this one. I ended up using this one because this one felt like I tried different kind of retry weak auras, but this is the one that I'm using because it was much easier to set it up the way that I wanted to do. Because for some reason I couldn't move around the icons. But this way, I can. So I'm going to leave it in the description. But then you press the copy import string. And then we go into the game. And we press the import. We do con uh, control V to copy paste it. And press import. And after that, we do W, A again. And voila, it's installed. But now we're going to use some settings here. Which is very nice. First of all, we're gonna use the exorcism. And I'm gonna make sure this view is open. The, both the Templar Verdict and the, the uh, exorcism. And after that, uh, what I like to do is to increase the size of it. So first of all, we need to make it bigger. So usually I, I made it 100 to 100. You can make it whatever size you want. And then 100 to 100. Wait, 100. There we go. And then we can actually move them around. So let me do like this. And let me do like this. So this is pretty much like how I would play it. And also, I'm going to use the holy power. And move that around and make it bigger also. Uh, let's see here. No, that's not one. This is the one. Eh, I don't know. But we're gonna make this one bigger. So let's try and make it a little bit bigger here. It should be working like this. Let's do it like this. Group scale and then we make it bigger. And I want it really big. There we go. Because, sure, you have it over here. Wait. And press, and then we can move this thing around. I Let's do, let's move it down to be like over here. But then, let's press it again, and we select the hold power. I want it to be in the middle of the screen. That's me personally. And maybe something like the along lines of this. Because I want it to be in like in the middle of the screen. So by having these two placed over here, it's gonna help us a ton. And now we actually have the action bar here here as well. Sure, it's gonna be two empty holes because it's these two, but it is what it is. The, like this is not the optimal way to use this, but it's a way to use it just to give you like initial ideas for a starter. I hope that someday you can expand on this idea. But this is the, the way that I would play it.
So after that, we go into the spec. This is a spec that I would run with. And I think that pretty much everyone will run with this spec in the pre-patch. But yeah, that's basically it. But with the procs, um, it's a bit weird if, like, I can't really do the the procs in another way. This is the way that I play. So let's go into the macros. And we have the single one. So the single one is a cast sequence one. Which is a Crusader Strike and then Judgment. I have Judgment, the the only the spell Judgment on Keybind to another Keybind. Just so I can use it on ranged. Uh, on its own. So, but for this sake, because I always, well, well, now you can, you can put it the other way around. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Um... So uh, let's see, this is the, the one that I'm using and I'm going to show the AOE one also, which is Divine Storm and Judgment, but it only works because if you read it up, it only gives us a holy power if it hits four or more targets. So it's like not worth using if you don't hit four, four persons. So yeah. But like by doing this, I'm going to show you, uh, make sure to have, let's go with the single target one first, which is Seal of Truth. And by doing this, let's say that the, we were coming in here, I'm going to buff this one up as well. Uh, we're going in here and I press Judgment on the separate keybind. Do like this, I run in and then I press the macro. And you see, it's glowing whenever I get a proc. See, it's glowing. So now I got the Ardent Defender. The Art of War, I mean. Which makes my uh, next Exorcism instant. And I use it. And then I press it again. And now I have three stacks of this. And I can cast the Templar's Verdict. And I'm going to DPS a little bit more. And you will see whenever I get the Templar's Verdict proc. Also. There, I don't have the full Holy Power. But I got the... Divine Purpose proc, so it's gonna light up, and then you can use it again. And I got it again, you see, I can press it. Again, I can press it. So whenever one of these is lighting up, you press that one. So see? Then you just spam the single target macro, and make sure to have Consecrate and like Holy Wrath on cooldown. Pretty much, and then you just sit here. Like, like I said, it's not the optimal way to play it. And like also what you can do, if you want to, you, can, you could do like this, I think. Let's see here if it, this works. Um, here it is, Seal of Velotry. And let's do like that. One. I would make it a little bit smaller, I think. Just because we don't use it as often. But that's the the end talent. Which is a... Uh, you need three holy power to use it. It's not going to consume them. But it says... Your Crusader Strike generates three charges of holy power per strike for the next 20 seconds. Which is a two minute cooldown. And whenever you get the Divine Purpose proc... You can use it. Right? It doesn't say it's... Oh, well, yeah. So if I get it... Uh, let's go up here again and DPS. And it will light up whenever we can actually use it. Because technically... Let's see here. Hmm. Maybe not. But like what when this one is uh, glowing... You can learn that the uh, Solotry can be wor uh, can be used. So, and if I would use that, it would look something like this. Uh, 
like every Crusader Strike I use will give us three holo power. So yeah, that's pretty much the way that I would play it. And the holo power one is just the AOE one is just the same, but it's the Divine Storm. So it's up to you really what you could do. But this is the way that I would play it if it was me. So again, you get you'll get the procs. And just use the, the other cooldowns whenever you need them. And this became like way easier than I initially thought it would be. And it was easier than I thought also. But then it's just it, it's very simple. So yeah, that's pretty much the macro that you can use, the macro and the weak aura settings that you can do. Uh, maybe like this. Well, but now you see the cooldown over here as well. So you see the cooldown on it and you know when you can use it. But if you click on this video over here, I um, uh, you will see a tank version of the like macros and stuff to play in the pre-patch of uh, Paladin Tank. And I will highly appreciate if you would subscribe and liking the page if this helps you. If it doesn't, I really hope that you already know. If, and if you do, that's awesome. And until next time, work work!